so I'm going to just basically sit there and put things in here I'm in my pajamas, so please don't mind. But I will fast forward this part. I'm basically just looking for all my primers. I think that was it. Okay, so I think this is all the primers. Um, these are the two Becca primers. These are really good. I love those. They're my favorite. And then I've got this flush primer. I believe this is an illuminating primer. This is the Spotlight Illuminating Primer from Physician's Formula. Physician's Formula is a really good drugstore brand. So is Joa. These are the Blur and Glow Activating Primers. Here's my Fursali Rose Gold Elixir. This is fancy, but it's amazing. Um, this is a dupe of that, kind of. Uh, this is the Milani Soft Focus Glow. It's kind of a dupe to the Rose Gold Elixir. I really like this, though. And then... This is the e.l.f. This is actually a BB cream, not a primer, so this will go in with my foundations, but this is a really good formula. I love that. Here's another nice one, the Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow. The, I have two Huda Beauties, so this one here is the Complexion Perfection, and then this one is the Matte Perfection. So one just primes, and then the other one mattifies. Um, they have a stronger floral scent, so if you don't like floral, I wouldn't use those, but I like it, so I don't mind. Here's the e.l.f. Blemish Control Primer. Haven't used it yet, but I have to try it because I am breaking out. And then my Veil Hourglass Veil Primer. Um, another kind of pricier one. It is a mineral-based primer, so it feels kind of silicone-y. Again, if you're not someone who likes that, you won't like that primer. This is for an even skin tone from Smashbox, and this is the Elia True Serum Radiant Priming Serum. True Skin Radiant Priming Serum. Oops. Um, this one has a little bit of tackiness to it, which is really nice for keeping on the foundation. The Cover FX Water Cloud Primer. I think this is what made my makeup pill up, my foundation pill, but I'm not sure, so I have to retry it with a different foundation. Here's my more luxury ones. Um, this is the Tom Ford Illuminating Primer, and I like the packaging because it keeps it airtight. And then this is the YSL Blur Primer. I think this is a blur primer. Um, it has like little gold flecks in it, and I think, I think these are real gold flecks. I think that's what it said online, but I'm not sure. Okay, this is the Becca Skin Love. This has some skincare in it. Love that one. This is the NARS Radiance Primer and the Ole Hendrickson Banana Bright Face Primer. I have to say this didn't really brighten, but it is a really good primer and I love Ole Hendrickson. This orange line that he has I think is for brightening products. And then the last three I think. Um, this is a trial size of the Urban Decay Optical Illusion. This does really good at making you look like you've got a filter on your face. It's really smoothing. Here's the Tatcha Silken. This is technically a sunscreen, but it's a pore perfecting sunscreen, so I like to use this in the summertime, and I do use it as a primer. Um, I only use it in the summer because it's so stupidly expensive that I don't want to run out, and since it's got sunscreen, I don't really need it in the winter anyway. And then this is the Smith & Colt Black Drop charcoal brightening primer and this is a little bit newer for me so I haven't gotten around to using it yet but I will oh no that's foundation okay so that is my primers for now I think I'm gonna fit them all in one drawer now eventually I'm gonna get like a um, vanity so things will fit a little better in a vanity probably, but for now, 
we are using what we got. Okay, the next drawer is going to be foundations. And this will probably take up two drawers because it's heavy. Um, so I'm just going to pick them out and put them in. And you can kind of see what I have there. Are the foundations um oh this is a heavy drawer so here is a Kula BB cream with an SPF so this I get again I like to use this in the summertime because of the SPF this is the Guerlain L'Essential foundation um I like the packaging I think the color is a little off but I can make it work here are some of my favorites this is the NARS radiant I think it's called the Sheer Glow, and then the Estee Lauder Double Wear. I really like these. These are both, they've been around for a really long time. And then some of my tube foundations, the NYX uh, One and Done Skin Perfector. I did use that, and I don't really see the hype behind it, but I mean, I'll keep it because I like it. The Fenty Beauty Foundation, the Hydrating Foundation, Love that. And then the Bobbi Brown BB Cream is so good. Oh, sorry. It's so, so good, you guys. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus. I like this. I have the stick version. I think it's still on the floor. Um, I have the stick version, but I prefer the liquid foundation better than the stick. And then the Born This Way in the shade Nude. Um, I wasn't giving shade names, so whatever. But... This is a really nice one, too. Here, we're going to bring some brightness. Oh, yeah. Check that out. Um, another nice affordable one is the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop. And then the Tarte Found Sealer. This is so good, too. So is the NYX. The NYX really does stay on all day long. It's just a good, good drugstore foundation. Here's my Bobbi Brown Skin Longwear, which is a nice one. And then my Dior Forever Undercover. My mom complimented me when I wore this. She said it basically looked like I didn't have anything on my face, but in a good way. It was like no makeup, makeup. Here are some more. This is the Juvia's I Am Magic foundation. I love the foundation. I had the concealer, but it sucked, so I got rid of it. This is the Natasha Denona Transfer Matte, really good. And then the Juice Beauty Stem Cellular CC Cream, which apparently has 11 different skincare benefits. Um, half of them were sunscreen based. So I'm like, okay, well, that kind of defeats the purpose if you're renaming the same benefits like seven different times in different wording, but whatever. Um, this is the NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer. I've been using this for years. I really like that. The IT Cosmetics CC Cream and then the Kat Von D, I think it's Self Portrait. Um, true portrait. I always say self. It's true portrait. I don't know how I feel about this. Let me know what you guys think about it. I personally, so far, I mean, I'm not in love with it, but maybe I'm just not used to that kind of formula. I don't know. This is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD. Really great for when you're filming. The Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. Um, they need more shades in this range, but it's a good foundation. And then the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation is excellent. Another nice drugstore is the Physician's Formula. That whole brand, I think, is a really good drugstore brand. But um, they definitely are a little pricier for drugstore. And then this is the Zoeva Foundation. I don't know if I liked it. I forget. It almost looks like it's splitting. And it's another kind of... It almost looks like it's separating already, but it's a 12-month ex expiration, so I don't know. 
the Jouet, I already kind of talked about that in the intro. It's not my favorite. And then the Bounce from Beauty Blender. Love this one. I've had it for a little bit. Hopefully it's not expired, but um, I like that one. This is another Dior. So this one and this one, they are almost the same thing, except this one here is full coverage, and this one is light to medium coverage. And I have different shades for both. I've got... I think this one's, yeah, this one's shade 15 and this one's 25. So this one's a little darker for summer, which is nice because in the summertime, I don't want to be cake faced. Um, I want to be able to like let my skin breathe. So this is a nice one for summer. And I do prefer light to medium coverage as opposed to full coverage. And then here are my last three. So this is my ABH foundation. And then this is another amazing one. It's the NARS natural radiant that's a beautiful one and then here's the lawless woke up like this and i liked this one but it kind of got like hard to blend so i don't know if it's expired i've had it for a while but i don't know if it's expired or not